Ripple Function, Uses, and History Welcome back to another episode of Money Reviewer. Subscribe to the channel now if you enjoy this type of content and hit the notification bell to never miss any of our latest videos that we upload. In this episode, we will be going over Ripple's function, uses, and history. Let's dive in. Function Ripple is the reconceptualization of a very old idea that dates back to medieval times. In those days, there were no banks, so if you wanted to send money from the city to the city, you had to visit a payment agent that would help you send the money. Ripple works in much the same way, connecting payment agents to facilitate payment across borders. Added to this, Ripple's algorithm discovers a trusted path for transactions. If a third agent trusts both your agent and your friend's agent, then that third party can be a middleman between middlemen. On Ripple, the agents are called gateways, and they're usually banks or other places that accept deposits to transfer money. As such, the unique power behind Ripple is its ability to transact anything, especially multiple currencies at one time, while the IOUs between agents or gateways are posted to the Ripple ledger and can be resolved in real time. Ripple works as a for-profit technology platform and also a cryptocurrency, XRP, developed by Ripple Labs. The company focuses on providing real-time payment settlements and currency exchange services to financial institutions, such as banks and payment processors. To this end, over 100 companies worldwide have adopted Ripple software to guarantee fast, frictionless transactions. As a result of this strong financial industry adoption, the Ripple cryptocurrency XRP, is currently the third most valuable cryptocurrency by market capitalization, after Bitcoin, with a valuation of over $90 billion in January 2018. While you can buy XRP, it is actually not intended for consumer use. Instead, it functions as a token that provides liquidity for banks as they facilitate cross-border transfers. Unlike most blockchain technology that is secured by a decentralized network of miners, Ripple is secured by a network of validating servers with an internal ledger that guarantees transactions based on consensus. Instead of mining rewards, all 100 billion Ripple coins are pre-mined, and Ripple Labs controls the dispersion of new coins. So far, there are 38.7 billion XRP in circulation, and Ripple Labs will release more as needed to control the money supply. That said, transactions on Ripple are not limited to XRP. Ripple also supports fiat currencies, like dollars, euros, pounds, and yen. As well as this, Ripple includes support for other cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin, and even other markers of value, like frequent flyer miles or gold. As such, it is important to understand that Ripple is primarily a payment processor and currency exchange, and the XRP currency is necessary but secondary to Ripple's mission. In that sense, Ripple does not attempt to compete with Bitcoin or Ethereum. Instead, it competes with prevailing payment validation and remittance systems, like Swift or ACH, and new technologies like Payoneer. To this end, Ripple works to differentiate itself from its competitors by bringing the speed and security of blockchain to the $155 trillion cross-border payment industry. Uses Micropayments Developers are using the XRP ledger to build innovative products for gaming, content, and web monetization, among other applications where currency is at the center. Cryptocurrency Wallets Use the ledger to build digital wallets to store private and public passwords and interact with various blockchains to send and receive digital assets, including XRP. Exchanges Build sophisticated exchanges where users can invest and trade crypto and non-blockchain assets such as stocks, ETFs, and commodities. Stablecoins Financial institutions can use issued currencies to issue stablecoins on the XRP ledger. XRPL's Integrated Decentralized Exchange, or DEX, allows neutral, counterparty-free digital assets to be seamlessly exchanged to and from issued assets, including stablecoins. NFTs XRPL allows issuance of IOUs which can represent a currency of any value, which can be extended to the issuance of non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. DeFi Provide access to financial products and services online in a decentralized and borderless manner on XRPL, with decentralized smart contract protocols replacing the traditional role of financial institutions. CBDCs The CBDC private ledger provides central banks a secure, controlled and flexible solution to issue and manage central bank-issued digital currencies, or CBDCs. 
History Interestingly, it was created by Ryan Fuger, a software developer in 2004 in Vancouver, Canada, long before Satoshi Nakamoto released his first version of the Bitcoin blockchain. Ripple Pay didn't use any blockchain technologies, but it had the same purpose, providing its users with tools to be able to securely transact money around the world. Even Satoshi Nakamoto knew about this payment system, remarking that, Ripple is interesting in that it's the only other system that does something with trust besides concentrating it into a central server. For many years, Ripple continued to function this way until in 2012, Fuger sold it to Jed McCaleb, Arthur Brito, and David Schwartz, who wanted to use it for their future digital currency network. The new company was named OpenCoin. OpenCoin built its new technology using Ripple Pay source code and created a ledger-based payment network for financial institutions and closed two angel rounds of funding in 2013. The same year, McCaleb, the former founder of Mt. Gox, left the company, founding Stellar and forking Ripple into a new Stellar Lumens network. As a co-founder of Ripple, he had a large amount of XRP, the network's native coins. McCaleb has already sold 1 billion XRP and still has more than 8 billion. In 2013, the OpenCoin company was renamed Ripple Labs Inc. and made the code of the Ripple network open source. In 2015, they changed the company name again, shortening it to just Ripple. Since 2016, Ripple has had the bit license from the New York State Department of Financial Services, allowing it to make operations with cryptocurrencies. Over the years, Ripple developed its solutions for the banking industry, including XRapid and XVIA, both designed to send payments globally between banks. The former requires XRP for settlement, while the latter does not need any vehicle of value transfer. Both are built on the basis of XCurrent, the main open-sourced Ripple product. Compared to the traditional Swift, the network is a lot faster, providing a settlement time of 4 seconds instead of 2 to 3 days. Today, the Ripple network appears to be enjoying a significant amount of mainstream success. The RippleNet has more than 200 members, and its geographical reach includes over 40 countries and 6 continents. Currently, 38% of the world's top 100 banks have joined Ripple. Not everyone investing in crypto assets accepts the idea of XRP, due to the fact that there is still one centralized company behind it. Initially, when the premise of cryptocurrency began to gain popularity, there were people on BitcoinTalk.org who offered to pay 5 BTC $500 at that moment to anyone who would post a message saying that Ripple is a centralized scam. However, over time, the XRP ledger became more decentralized, adding more nodes and removing its own nodes as validators. Added to this, people were about the amount of XRP tokens that belong to the team. There are 99 billion tokens, only 44 billion are in circulation, meaning that more than half of all tokens have not entered the market yet, staying in an escrow account, but are expected to be released at some point in the future. And with that, we've reached the end of this video all about Ripple's function, uses and history. Do you own any XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments section down below. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.